I'm already running. We're on Facebook groups, which is their new meet feature. Down here is my window with the camera. So rocking two cameras for this live stream. Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to another gig vlog, but it is not my gig. Well, it's the company's gig. Marcel's is going to be the DJ today, but we're doing a lot of stuff, including live streaming the ceremony. That's what I'm coming along to be in charge of, so stay tuned for a little bit of a tutorial on how to live stream a ceremony. We got to the FSL, Fusion Sound and Lighting, Drip On Point. Yo, pan around, pan around. When you see the back, party crew in the house. Marcel's in the house, Drake in the house. Got a whole squad today. Do you got everything? What? Do you got everything? Yes. He, he's confident. Drake, do you got everything? I hope so. I don't, think, I don't know what he needs, but he's got it. Anyways, we're going to get on the road and we're going to head on out to the wedding. It's at their house. So, at their house. So, it's going to be a little interesting. We got tents because it might rain, but also we need shade. So, all kinds of cool stuff. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. See you guys on the road. What's good, guys? I know y'all ain't seen me in a while. You know, your boy been working on stuff. I lost some LBs. You feel me? We feel Feeling good now. We out here with another wedding, in North Carolina. Just at a home today. It's a nice little wedding. You know, we got the ceremony set up in the front, reception in the backyard, dance floor back there as well. Drizzo Draco right here. DJ DZ. <laughs> Yo, so I didn't film anything on the way over here, but kind of want to walk you guys through the property in terms of what all we're doing. There's like three different areas that we're working with. Ceremony area, dinner area, dancing area, and some other areas. But really cool setup at a private house for a wedding setup. Originally, it was going to have it at a venue, but we changed the whole entire course. And honestly, it's turning out to be a very awesome setup for a wedding. Behind me, you can kind of see right there, we have a tall speaker stand or lighting stand. We got a tall lighting stand there. We're going to use some wash effects to just kind of light up their driveway because the bar is going to be up here at the top the driveway there's gonna be a taco truck and just so guests can get to their cars we're gonna light up the area for later on this evening behind me here we have the ceremony tent it's looking like we're not really gonna need the tents it's looking pretty clear but rain is always a possibility so we have the ceremony tent right here we're gonna be setting up our ceremony rig over in this area with the Maui 5 go and the live streaming setup I'm actually going to use an Ethernet cable from their internet source which is actually right through that window right there we're gonna run a hundred foot Ethernet cable over here so we have perfect signal for our live streaming we're also we're gonna record it as well so that's Something I really haven't told you guys about that I've been offering during this whole entire uh, COVID stuff. So what I offer is a ceremony recording package plus live streaming. So the reason for that is because internet is not guaranteed at a lot of these venues. A lot of venues we do are barns in the middle of nowhere. This so happens to be at a house, so we have perfect, great internet to access. So we will do live streaming as well. But what I do is I sell recording. We take this camera right here, we record the ceremony, we hook in, we record the microphones as well, and then afterwards we'll sync the two, the microphones to the camera footage. And give them the file that's what's guaranteed for the package and then what is additional is live streaming and we can do it via any source really zoom we've been using facebook uh private groups so that's what we're doing for this one and that's nice because facebook is a free source for us and it's nothing really fancy for the live streaming this one i think i'm going to be using a camera i might just end up using my phone as well but pretty much for the live streaming all we're doing is using someone's phone we're going to use someone's phone and just record it for this one though because i have really good internet i'm going to use one of the canon g7x's and get a little bit of a better picture only because it's for the groom's family who is stuck in Mexico couldn't get here because of COVID. So for his parents to be able to watch it, uh, we're going to do it in a nice, really good quality. Got the truck parked up. A little side plug, Taco Rick. I have a full channel on this truck right here. So if you want to learn about all the mods that I've done to my Tacoma, Taco Rick will be linked in the description down below. But anyways, coming down the driveway, this is where one of the Wash Vex 2s is going to do to light up this area. We got some of our stuff laying right here. This is going to be where the dinner portion is going to take place. They're going to be hanging their own string lighting in here to light up the tent. The bar is going to be set up either in this area or this area. And if you come around the corner, we have the back patio and the deck. They actually built a platform. They had a company come in and build a platform here to be able to put it dance floor over this is actually where their fire pit is so we have where the guys are gonna be setting up we got a 16 by 16 dance floor we got wash effects twos mounted on either side they're gonna be putting some black carpet down on this so it doesn't look all ugly srx 815ps marcellus dough in the house what up though what do you what do you think so far it's you actually kind of cool yeah this is a dope setup it's different not you know your typical wedding venue so it's gonna be fun. There's AC bathroom trailer over there. There's a beer truck coming later. You got Drakey repping the good vibes only koozie. That's Marcellus's event table. He's got a Rain 12, Rain 12 with the Mixar what what duo, duo Mixar duo. Can't buy him anymore. And a launch pad X. And a launch pad X. Oh yeah, he's running sound switch. If you guys, all you sound switch people, 
He's a sound switch guy. So this is kind of the dance floor area. There's the carpet they're gonna be putting down. We're actually gonna be putting a monogram on top of the tent right there. That's gonna look cool. And if we come back around this area, we already started setting up, but we're doing uh, about 30 feet of pipe and drape with twinkle lights. So we're gonna be putting twinkle lights on it. And then I have the ADJ pin spots. We're gonna be putting four of them or maybe three of them in here to light up this area. And we also have eight up lights that we're gonna be putting in different areas that need light. So uh, we're pretty much the lighting people. But anyways, just kind of wanted to update you guys on what all is going on right now. I'm setting up the pipe and drape back here, and uh, I will continue. So the twinkle drape is up. I've got the gravity stand up there waiting to put the monogram pole on. We're waiting on them to put the carpet down. We'll do all the adjustments there. They're hanging string bulb lighting in here. We're loading up the last little bit of stuff. Got a nice fan there. We've got the Wash FX 2s waiting. So I'm not running the Wash FX 2s just yet. We're gonna wait until the ceremony finishes. That way when guests travel across here, there's not an extension cord in the way. I'll set those up later on. Two tables over here set up for the ceremony and the live stream. And yeah, we'll set that up later. Right now though, we're gonna take a food break and go get some food. All right, so we came back. We have been uh, finalizing the setup. Let me show you guys what I'm doing for the ceremony. So let me show you guys how we're gonna be doing this. One, this camera right now that I'm filming on is gonna be used to record the whole entire ceremony. I have my little tripod set up over here. This is going to be where the camera is set. I'm gonna set up the camera right here and just record the whole entire ceremony from this point of view. So that is the recording feature that I said talked about where we record the whole entire thing on video. Then there is the audio portion that needs to be recorded. So first off, we have the all-in-one battery-powered ceremony rig. We are running it power today, but we got the two audio tech the wireless microphones, the Yamaha MG06, and uh, that's all pre-wired with everything on the back panel here, all the lines. So this is the input for the laptop. This is the output to the LD Systems Maui 5 Go, which is over there. Power con in the power, all of that, all that good stuff. Lapel mics set up, ready to go. Marcel's taking all of that. His laptop right here for the ceremony music. Then we have the output right here. Got some quarter inch to RCA adapters going RCA to XLR into the Zoom H6. This is overkill, but this is what we're going to record the whole entire audio portion. So we're going to record the whole entire audio then we come to the live streaming so I'm already running we're on Facebook groups which is their new meet feature down here is my window with the camera so rocking two cameras for this live stream so the main camera is going to be one of the G7X's so I'm gonna have that set up up there on that tripod basically filming the whole entire thing that's gonna be HDMI out into the sound card right here which is the Elgato HD 60s so that is going to be the sound card of choice so that is the video capture device that's gonna be capturing the G7X as well well as the audio is linked out of the H6 into the Elgato, which then feeds into the computer. Right now, I have a solid shot, which is the Logitech C920, just using this right now as the intro shot while guests arrive. On behalf of the couple, I'd like to welcome you all to this place where Aaron and Jose express their love for each other and their desire to live as husband and wife. These two lives are joined now in one unbroken circle. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Yo, so everything went smooth with the ceremony. I'll put in some clips of the recording. I was using both cameras, so I couldn't film anything for you guys. See, everything went good, other than the fact that Facebook, if you guys haven't noticed, switched to this new rooms thing. You, you don't live stream anymore. It's just a room inside a group. It makes it hard because you have to make sure everyone else has their mic muted. I'm definitely going to be switching to probably doing like a unlisted YouTube live stream for like the next ones that we're doing, but it worked out. Everyone had a good time. And plus we're giving them the recording, which is what they're really paying for. The recording with the clean audio and uh, all that worked out good. So we're now moving over in to the cocktail area. Me and Drake are gonna tear this down, but like I mentioned, this is uh, Kaylin's wedding, not my wedding. I'm just here to do the live stream. Same thing next week too. It's his wedding again, and I'm just here to do the live stream. So I will, I'll film some clips for you guys though. Also check out the cool new, we got the branding, branding. If you saw the hats earlier, the shirts. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, let's see some moments, let's see it, let's see it. Come on now. Give it up for our clear bride's face and groomsmen. Ethan's Maria.
got the Rolls Royce limo. Damn. Taco truck. And we got our two Wash Effects 2s up here lighting up this whole entire area. What up? Say what? Never showed you guys the monogram. There it is up there. Projectors up there. If you're wondering, they're setting up to do like the, I don't know what, they're, they're setting up to do like a mock exit or something like that. Alright guys, everything, got the tall tea bars over there getting packed up, everything, about an hour, all tore down, and that is the gig, that is the gig, and it was, it was fun, I had a blast. Yo Marcellus, what up, how was the multicultural wedding, that's your first one, wasn't it? Second. 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 Oh yeah, that's right, you had another one. Mm -hmm. Always fun, it's a different change of pace, different change of music, you know, not the same American stuff I'm always listening to. The hardest thing though, is trying to get both to like each other's music equally. Mm -hmm. That's the hardest part of any multicultural. You you play the genre for the one culture, and then the other culture just is like, requests all their music, and then you flip it, and then the other one requests all their crap, so it's just back and forth. That's it, guys. That's all for the gig log. Marcellus, you want to sign it out? Yeah, 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 um, yeah. Don't forget to hit that like button. Follow DJ Marcellus, though. Yep. I don't, I'm not sure about his YouTube, but hit him up on Instagram. Hey, also, I dropped a new EP, um, oh, TTND, yeah, yeah. till the next day. Link Go to Spotify. Link to Spotify in the description. If you guys don't know, he, he literally dropped an EP like fusion sound like DJs dropping EPs what anyways guys comment down below like subscribe all that good stuff hit the notification bell anyways keep them records spinning and we will see you guys next time peace